I do think that one of the reasons why we have such a crisis today in the mainstream church with regard to confession is because we have a crisis with regard to contrition for sins. We are not sufficiently contrite for our sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Welcome to another episode of Ask Father, brought to you by the Fatima Center. My name is Father Michael Rodriguez, and I am a priest of the Diocese of El Paso, Texas. Today we have a, an anonymous question. Dear Father, I consider myself a traditional Catholic. Is it good for me to go to confession with a Novus Ordo priest? My recommendation to all faithful Catholics is to do your very best. Be willing to make sacrifices. Do your very best to adhere 100% to the traditional Catholic faith. That is, the faith that comes to us from our Savior Jesus Christ and His Apostles. This recommendation of mine always applies. So, let's apply it to the question just posed. Is it good for me to go to confession with a Novus Ordo priest? For those that of you that are not familiar, the term Novus Ordo refers to the New Mass, that is, the mainstream church. So then I ask you, is going to confession with a Novus Ordo priest adhering 100% to the traditional Catholic faith? No. So I strongly urge you to do everything possible to go to confession according to the traditional Roman rite with a traditional Catholic priest as your confessor. This should be your goal. Again, it's not always easy. And I certainly understand that. Definitely God understands that. And again, God knows our situation. God knows our heart. But he also knows how much of an effort each one of us is making to adhere 100% to the traditional Catholic faith. And that's what I encourage you and strongly recommend you to strive to do. I want to highlight three reasons with regard to the particular question of going to confession of also why I strongly encourage you to go to confession with a traditional Catholic priest in the traditional rite of confession. And the first reason is because it isn't just a question of how this may affect you personally. A lot of times, and it's natural, but a lot of times that's the only thing that we think about. We say, well, it's easier for me to, to go to confession here, and so I'll go. Or, well, you know, does it really matter that much? Uh, uh, you know, we, we tend to go by uh, our personal preferences or our, our personal uh, conveniences. But consider also how important it is that we make an effort to restore true Catholicism. When you go to confession with a traditional priest and the traditional rite of, of confession, you are taking a specific step to restore true Catholicism. And it's a very concrete way of rejecting the counterfeit Catholicism which has invaded the church in the aftermath of Vatican II. It's not even necessarily a question of blaming or, or, or uh, let's say, blaming a particular priest who's in the Novus Ordo or making the claim that whatever, the traditional priests are better or are holier. No, it, just the point of you taking a specific step, step to reject the counterfeit Catholicism which has invaded the church in the aftermath of Vatican II is very important. And if more Catholics really take steps and, and make efforts to restore our, our traditional Catholicism, then we're really going to be opening wide our hearts and the, and the doors of the church to the workings of God's grace. Number two, you will also receive the grace of 
the traditional Catholic prayers of absolution. The prayers of absolution in the traditional rite of, of confession are more extensive, they are richer, more expressive of our, of our Catholic faith than the ones that you find in the uh, Novus Ordo rite of confession. And so it's an added benefit, you're going to receive um, those added graces. And number three, which is something definitely cons to consider, the traditional rite of confession will help you to grow in your hatred for sin and true contrition for your sins. And obviously this is very important to the sacrament of confession. The sacrament of confession is not just there to forgive you your sins. Obviously, that is, we might say, the, the essence, God forgiving our sins in this sacrament. But God in his infinite goodness and mercy also wants to help us in many ways. Sometimes, well, not sometimes, really always also in, in ways that we're not even aware of. But God in his infinite goodness and wisdom wants to help us in many ways with his grace through the sacrament of confession. And specifically in the sacrament of confession, he's helping us, he's giving us grace to grow in our hatred for sin and to grow in true contrition for our sins. Again, it's so important that we grow in this. I do think that one of the reasons why we have such a crisis today in the church, in the mainstream church, with regard to confession, is because we have a crisis with regard to contrition for sins. That we are not sufficiently contrite for our sins. There's nothing more important on our part, on the penitent's part, when it comes to the sacrament of confession than to have true contrition for your sins. You have to truly be sorry for your sins. You have to truly be aware of how you've offended God so that then you can make a firm purpose of amendment, that you're going to make a firm resolution, a firm decision to amend your life because you're very sorry for those sins and you don't want to keep uh, committing them. And the traditional rite of confirmation, there are a lot of ways in which it, the rite helps you to do these things, to grow in your hatred for sin and true contrition for sins. For example, the fact that you're kneeling there in confession as a penitent, recognizing this is who I am and this is what sin does to me. Sin stains my soul. Even the darkness of the confessional helps us to appreciate this of how, how sin brings darkness into our soul and darkness into our world. Ultimately, all of the evil in the world is due to sin. This darkness that sin is, it gives us a greater awareness of what sin is, of how much we offend God by sinning. It gives us a greater hatred for sin and hopefully helps us to be more contrite for having sinned. And the traditional rite of confession will also, again, give us a greater awareness of what sin is, for example, or even maybe especially the sins of heresy, the sins of impurity, and the sins of profaning the sacred. I invite you to send your questions to the Fatima Center. Please also consider making a donation to the Fatima Center so that the Apostolate may continue its mission of promoting the full message of Fatima. Sacred Heart of Jesus, thy kingdom come. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us.